Well, hello everybody. How you doing? I um, it's been a while, but I thought I'd do a video. It's so mean out in the world. I thought I'd just do a nice little video. Um, so I um, oh look, I actually have empty containers in my craft room, which is unheard of. But yes, um, I got some. I got I had an anniversary a couple weeks ago, so I had some new stuff out in. My front room, and then also I switched over seasons, so we're in the spring, I mean in the fall, winter mode. I only do two. I used to do all the seasons, but now I mix spring and summer together and fall and winter, so that's all I do, and I don't do much anymore like I used to. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show you that first, and then I did make some things in here, but we'll go there first. Oh, I think I showed this phone last time. That I made, because I made the little tiny one. I know I showed. It's in my craft closet over there. But I decided to make a big one and put it on my wall. And so this is pretty big. And I just did it like the standard phone. Down here I did anyway. I put the emergency call, whatever, and all that. The taxi number. For the taxi number, I put my the year I was born. <laughs> and the coin slot. I did it all. But then right there I got fun. Yeah. But anyway, I had this die, so I decided to cut this out and put it next to it. And if you're my age, I was a teenager in the 70s. Um, you've seen this. I, we vacationed a lot growing up. So um, uh, this was a very common sign I seen, and that was at the hotel. <laughs> this is how they looked, exactly. Bring back so many memories. But it would say vacancy, color TV, heated pool. Um, 24 hours, and, and then I put open here. I couldn't really figure out what was down here, but then my sister said it probably said welcome right here. So maybe I'll put welcome right there. But, yeah, that's what they looked like back in the day. They went all out. In fact, in some of your mid-century sections in Salt Lake, or, or I meant, not Salt Lake, but Palm Springs, you might see some of this still. Or a little bit of the architecture. But yeah. I thought that was cool. Okay. Um, oh, it's so bright. Wow. It's kind of bright. You're getting to see what I'm doing, though. <laughs> yeah. I just had to get close. I'm going to sit down here because I can't bend over that long anymore with my back. But anyway, this is how I did this table for... For fall winter, we did the um, Amberina Moon and Stars right here. This is gorgeous. It's the lid comes off. It's gorgeous. It's gonna be yeah. It's got the little stars on it and yes. And I don't know if it's Fostoria or Fenton. I'm not really sure. And then the acrylic candlesticks I've had for, I don't know, a couple years. And I just didn't know if I'd ever get to use them because orange was really not a color I put in here. But it is now. So, yeah, worked out. And then I got the little dish back there. Well, it's not little, but the dish back there. And then I put my old ashtray and lighter there, which are the same orange. Nobody ever used this. I remember my mother having this in the 70s because she was a smoker. And you would put your ashes in there. Nobody ever used this. It's amazing. And then there's the matching ashtray. Totally mid-century. All day long. And then um, just one of those ceramic leaves. It's got the orange in it. There you go. And then another little dish or one down here. It's smaller. And then the ones I, I already had. And so that's going to be my fall. This right here is what is the only thing I'm going to change for the season. To this and another area in my dining room. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to go all out. But yeah, this will change come spring. And then I got another bucket list thing for mid-century. 
I was going to, oh, I got my football pillow out because, you know, I'm a football freak. Um, and, and Seahawks won their first game, and so did Kansas City Chiefs, my second favorite team. Oh, I got these new mushrooms. This will be, these will be for fall, too. These mushrooms, well, let me go this way. These mushrooms, they're wood. They have a little segregation on them, but you probably can't tell. Oh, no, not there. You can see a little bit of it there. But they're wood. Those are not old. I got them new in a local store we have here. And I have another acrylic candle, green one. It goes with it in a wooden holder. And, uh, yeah, that's all that's changed there. And, um, I changed a little bit of things up here. Because I got a new, I got a new vase. And it's huge. Isn't it pretty? Ooh. It's beautiful. It's brown. So I brought all my brown ones down here. They were up there. So I brought them all back down here. And so I had to change that up there. And I moved some blue ones into the dining room because I just needed more room. So the blue ones, some of the blue ones went into the dining room, the small ones. So I changed this up a little bit. I put some owls up there. That candle, I put those green eyes in because his eyes were boring. So I put those little gems in there. And it, no candle holder. It's all that's changed because, you know, owls were just quintessential mid-century. They were all over in the 50s to the 70s. Actually, the 40s is kind of looped in there. And I repotted my plant, too, because I need to be able to be more mobile. So I put it on these, these wheel thing that will go everywhere. It just slides everywhere. So that I'm going to turn around. It needs to be turned around. So, yeah. I repotted it in that basket, which was already lined with plastic. So that's able to move around. And here is what I got. I just got this this weekend, and I am so happy. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do up here because that is no longer is my jam for mid-century. So, in fact, I don't, I don't know. I'm probably just like put it out in my yard today free. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But um kind of looked like a pea for Patty. <laughs> but, uh, and I didn't know this was going to be that orange. I thought it was going to be more gold. But I still kept with it. And I um, got it off of Wayfair. But it's going. Because now I got, I think it's a 40s. I don't even think it's 70s. I think it's 40s. But I don't care. I already painted it. It was a whitewash, which white don't go in my house. So I painted it this pretty green color. And uh, it was Dixie Bell paint. So I painted it right here on, on, on my carpet. Not on the carpet, but right here on the floor. Because it was non-toxic. And I can't wait to get it hung up. It's big. It's going to take up that whole space up there. So I don't have to put anything on each side of it, which is nice. Yes, I can't wait. See, because I had this. Remember, I had this right here. I was going to put up there. And then I would have had to put stuff on each side of it. But no longer. And I don't know where that's going to go. I'm hoping my daughter wants it. Because I have no room for it. Nowhere. The shelf, the shelf, anyway, because that was going to go above the couch. So, and then dining room for winter, fall and winter, we're going to do the deer over here. I have this little stack of leaves. But, um, I got the deer, and I don't know, I don't think he's from this country. I think he's a, from a, maybe Canada. I can't remember what kind of deer he is, but I know my lamp is a gazelle, and that's an Australian deer. This deer is an Australian deer. And I'm not sure where he is from. And then I got a deer that looks like he's like on crack or something here. He looks more like a donkey, but he's a deer. Mm -hmm. 
He looks funny. But I'm going to keep him. And then up here, I got a mushroom pitcher, which goes with the color I'm doing here in the dining room. And then the deer up here, I got two chained babies. They're chained to their mama. And this really old one. That one's very old. And that's going to be my winter, fall, winter decor over here. This is the place I'm going to change the seasonal decor, that and that three-tiered thing over there. And that's it. The only two places I'm going to change for decor, for seasonal decor. And I put my crown down there, in there, because I no longer have room for it. Because I put the, I had to put some of my swung vases over here, where the crown was. But that's okay. And I don't know if these candlesticks was in my last video or not. I know they're fairly new. But let me turn this light off because they glow. They're full of uranium. Let's see if you can see. Oh, yeah. There you go. See, they glow. If, this, if they were under a black light, they would be glowing like that. But they're just a pretty blue. And this is the first... Um, uranium glass thing I've gotten that wasn't green because I have all that down here that is green and I have a black light in there so at night this is beautiful there's a black light up in the ceiling and I got some gorgeous pieces in there so that all lights up I need a bigger one but anyway let me turn my light back on and this bell was in an old hotel. Um, I think everybody touched it right here as for good luck because the only place it's like that. But my daughter teases me and says it's from the Hotel Cecil in California that's like haunted and all that. Yeah. No. But anyway, in my house, I'm eclectic. I, um, I bring in what I love. I, I do not follow trends. I don't care about trends. So I love this, and it's going to stay right there. But it is a carousel piece, and I had to repair it. And I think it was actually a panel on a carousel at one point because somebody went all out to um, put it, I can't put it, to put it, um, see, they put that on it. And I think it was on a carousel. It was a panel on a carousel at one point. But this is the top. And this part right here was gone. Right here. I seen the glue, so I knew something was there. And I have all these decorative molds, so I, I put the mold back on it. I don't know what mold was on it, but that's what I put on it. And this was all intact. This part was all intact right here. But these only had three of them. And you can tell they're the row points. There's one and these two right here. They're rope like that. But I didn't have tiny rope. I only had beaded looking things. So I had to put the beaded ones on. But that's okay. So I repaired every one of them. So now they're all dimensional again. I just love this. I don't know why, but I just love it. They did, and as soon as I seen it, and I found it at a garage sale. For like, and it wasn't very expensive. Like, less than five bucks or five bucks, something like that. So... I'm going to keep it right there. There we go. Alrighty. So that's my look for now. And that's going to be all the time because I didn't change it. I'm not changing nothing else seasonal but those two places. So, and then I got did get... Two new plates 
to kind of blend in with this color. You know, because those were new, so I had to go with that color. And this is how I had it. Just like that plate's a lot bigger than those. And I decided I need to bring out the color more, so I got two of these, which are pretty old. And you can still see this part, that's what I like. Nothing changed here. It's all the same. And then the plates. And that's it. That's that's it. That's all I did. And um in here I want to show you these candles. Like all these candles are so pretty. They smell so good. They're they're all um natural essential oils and boy they are <laughs> this smells delicious and they're it's all natural. This one's called Silent Night. This one is Jade Princess. This is um, Pina Colada and this one is Shiny Happy Purple. But oh man, if you could smell these, these are delicious. In fact, I'm going to put them they came in a really big box, so I had to get rid of that because I just didn't have room for big boxes. And I'll show you why. Because I am a candle freak. <laughs> it's full of candles. It goes all the way back. Well, right there. That's a can of paint, but it goes all the way back. In fact, these are going to be our October candles. I'm giving this little one to my sister, but they're candy corn, and they smell so good. So those are going to be our October candles, but... Yeah, they go way back there. So I got kind of a problem. I do like to buy candles. So, um, yeah, that's why I got these. But they're going to just be so good. And I put that in there, those in there for this season. Didn't really change much. Um, I got this little velvet strawberry. And that's it. That's another one that will glow. It's Amberina. I didn't want to put it out there because it's a picture and it just went a little good out on top of that. That three-tiered thing. I just didn't want to put a picture-looking thing out there. These are uh, old shish kebabs. But anyway, I think that's it. So, and I put my grapes up there. Let's go. Um, I'll show you what I made. Put you in the arm here. Oh, just a minute, let me grab right here. All right, there we go. You can see one thing right there. I guess I'll show you that first. Oh, I got it always have a shadow and I don't know what to do about that. I don't have no professional lighting or nothing like that. I'm like old school here. I don't have those round lights. I have a aught light from Joanne's right here. <laughs> what happened? Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to go with it. First thing I want to show you is I've been a gum person all my life, and gum is not, you don't, you don't just chew it forever. When the flavor is gone to me, I I get rid of it because it's candy to me, and I always like bazooka. Um, so I found this, and this wrapping, or this cover feels just like the wrapping on the, on the gum, but it first of all goes, well, not first of all, but it goes through the years when the gum happened. And that's how it started out right there. It was called Tops. And then it went like that. And it started out in 1939. And this is how it evolved. And then it went like that.
and then like this is when, and then they after this page they start getting the different flavors. And we're up to nineteen ninety six right here. And then this way. And then it they ended the book was twenty thirteen, so twenty thirteen was the last one. But what is really amazing is nobody used the bonus cards. They're still attached to the back. Not crazy. But um, it's just really all about the gum and um, Joe and his gang. How it all. This is the anniversary collection. Um, Joe and his gang on how it all went down. They, you know, they had the little comics in each pack of gum. So these are some of them. Then they tell you the history about the gum and or the gang and names and all that and who they were, or who they named them after. I mean, it's just really interesting. All about bazooka gum. There's Joe. And then, um, oh, okay, that was kind of interesting. Huh. Anyway, huh. um, and then in the back, it gets, shows you the big comma right here. They get big. I never even read the comics. I just chewed gum. And I still do. <laughs> but yeah, very interesting to me or someone like me who has always loved to chew bubble gum. Anyway, that's that. And then, um, I uh, made this little Krabby Patty shack. I um, kind of copied Christian uh, Christian's crafting adventure. Um, the only thing I really copied from her was the measurement and the windows. I did everything else was me, but I did use her windows and the measurements to make the three boxes, and they all come out apart. I haven't finished the inside because it's not going to go to anybody. So I didn't finish the inside, but every one of the boxes, the lids come off. Even the bottom one has a door. It fits behind the door. <laughs> but we'll go, go over it. I named it Krabby Patty Seafood Shack after SpongeBob. <laughs> That's what I named it because I'm Patty anyway. So, here on top, I put a sh uh, one of these little, take the lid off, it shakes, it's got, um, oh, this. there we go, it's got shells and little glass looking stuff in there, it shakes, and then I put, um, a little turtle on it, right there, a shell on the bottom, and in the front, I put that shell and that starfish. And then when you put it on, I got a little starfish on the bottom with some rope. And I think that's it for that one. And then the second one, I have on the lid, I have a mermaid. And the stream coming from the rope up there, another turtle, a window, and just some sea stuff. Because this is under the sea. Down in the sea. But SpongeBob lives in a pineapple. Not a three-decker cafe. <laughs> and anyway, here's the bottom of the box. I got another turtle there, and it says, Hello. And some more fancy stuff. I think there's a cocktail and starfish. Another shell. And then we go to the third box. Oh, I got another turtle right there. The third box, I'm not going to take the lid off. That's the door. 
and then a window with the name, another little seashell thing, starfish, and I got a big turtle right there. And then in the back, I put, just put seashells on the back for uh, to cover the seams of the box. But it's fully functional, can be stuffed with goodies. And uh, I love it. It's going to go in my little case over there, which I'm running out of room. A lot of things are behind things that you can't see. A lot of cool things are being covered up. But, and then I made a B book, which is my first B book. I had a bunch of B stuff. So I decided to put together a book. But first, I'm going to show you my little houses. Look at those. Those are little um, Tim Holtz die cuts. And so I cut them out and made some houses. There's the whole village. And they're all different. Every one of them's different. A couple of the houses are the same, but they're set up different with windows and stuff. This one has four windows. Little long windows. And this one has four windows, but they're squares. That one looks like a log house. I did some that look like a log house. Or log did some log and um, some not. But I just wanted to get them. This one's cool. It's got all these windows that have shutters on them. You can actually open them. But they're kind of supposed to look like shutters. Um, yeah, I thought maybe Christmas Village would look cool made out of these. You could really do anything with them. You could make a Halloween Village. Anything. Anything, this one's got a bunch of windows. But yeah, that's my little Tim Holtz die cut collection. They all have windows, or I mean doors. There we go. I just colored some of the roofs. <sighs> yep, that's them. And then we'll go through this book real quick. Um, this is strictly a, um, a um, diary or, or a journal because if you start sticking stuff in here, it would just be like alligator mouse. You could put a few pictures in here, but I wouldn't, you know, strictly for journaling, you know. But there's that. There's the side. And the back's the same. Some shiny bees. Metallic. Okay, you open it up to the front page. And I just got a little tag scene there. Um, everything's bee related. And then here's your first page. This is these are shakers. They have some stuff in them that shakes, but a lot of friction in there. I didn't make them. They came that way. It has stickers. And then it says, "Even busy bees stop to smell flower the flowers." Well, thanks for bees stopping because that's how we get flowers. <laughs> And then you open it up, and we got a Don't Worry, Be Happy on some glitter foam pocket. And then just a couple tags to write on the back. And a little bee sticker there. And little decorative edges. And this right here says Be Yourself. And that opens up, and on this side, I did a different kind of pocket, a little slash pocket. It says, let it be. And then I got some bee-looking tags. 
and all of them you can write on them in the back. I always make sure you got somewhere to write. And those go there. And then oh in the middle I did some side pop or some side little side flaps. Open up journal there. Here's a pocket with a bunch of journaling cards. Be kind and in the back. You can journal on them. All of them have a, a cute back to journal on. Hello sunshine. And then this one, big one. You could journal on the back of that. Oh, upside down. So that's those. Oh no, what am I doing it backwards? And then this one flips over like that. And you got room to write. And then this is a big one that goes over. Lots of room to journal. And then I've got these. I don't waste nothing. This was on the um, front of the uh, paper pad I had. So I cut the strips off because they're kind of shiny. And you can just journal on the back of all of them. Except for that one. <laughs> But I just thought they were cute. Everything to do with the bees. So that's that page. And then you turn it. And let's see in the middle I have your baseboard. is, And that's what you write on. If something gets awkward to write on. This is nice and hard. So you can write on it. Like you could put it under here and write on it. If you wanted to, if you needed to. So that's a baseboard. And it goes right in the middle, right there. Okay, here's your next page. And it's actually the back of this one. And I made a little fence. And you have to take this out to open the page. Which is just a little B. And you can write on the back. You open it. And I just got some standard pockets. And right here you can write on. And then you open it. More places to write. Right there. Right there. And then you close it. That was the top. And then down here in the middle I have pockets with a bunch of journaling cards and in the back they're all ready to journal on some cute little cards and then the side pockets here just everything to journal on and so that goes back down Close it back up and we put the card back in. There's a little B right there. This is the next page and it's a little busy, but I like it that way. Busy B. Anyway, um, this comes out. You need journal on the back. That one's, I didn't put lines on that one. And then down here, this one comes out. Same thing, journal on the back. And then same thing here. There's two here. There's that one. And this one. And then one down here. That will come out. And then just some cute stuff. And you open this up. And of course we got two pockets. We got that kind of pocket. With some more journaling cards. That one has bees on it. And I could put some uh, little bee stuff there. I have a die cut. And then over here, same thing. Just some more stuff to write on. And then in the middle, let's see, this comes up. And it's a glitter pocket. Glitter foam pocket with some more cute cards. Even Busy Bee stopped and smelled the flowers. I think I already said that one. 
and then there's a bee, and then right on the back of them. And then down here, I made this little four, four um, tag thing. You just take the tags out, and you can write on them. And they go all four ways. This one comes out this way. This one comes out that way. And this one comes out that way. So it's like a little thing of tags. That goes back down. And those close up. Then the back of that page is another section. Oh, I have a, um, I have a tiny little clip right there tiny one and then this opens and this opens like this you can journal right there and then I have more journaling cards this is a, a little envelope thing I made and there's your card to journal on in there it's vellum and there's another one I made right on the back and then right right there so that covers it up and then over here I made one of these got a bunch of tags in it two two sections of tags and then you turn it over the same thing more tags and then you take this little thing out right here and it flips up to write. You can write a bunch of stuff right there. Yeah. And that fits in the belly band right here. Got a belly band with some little velvet strips, gold and red. And then this goes back like that, opens up, and I have another little pocket here. And I made this pocket expand big. It comes out big because I have a book in here. Um, I made a little book. So you could, uh, and it's full of tags and all kinds of good stuff to write in. And uh, the back. So this can get pretty full. You could actually stick more stuff in that. And this side is the same as this side, only that's yellow. This one's red. Same thing. Oh, I have a paper clip there, another paper clip. A baby one, tiny little baby one. And this one opens up and more. Oh, here's another little envelope I made. Only oh, since on the envelope, it's just a little fun thing to stick a card in and then right back there and you can write right here not hide it all and then we close that like that and then over here I put a house and it says we need bees to save these and that's flowers Without bees, we'd have no flowers or anything. We need a pollination. And here we have just a bunch of cards. I put some mushrooms there. The dimensional bee. Some more cards over here. Oh, dang. Over here. Um, this is kind of fun. And um, another little clip right here. Because it goes up like that. So you can write. I got some lines there. And then it also opens up in its pockets. So that's cute. You don't really need the clip, but I put it there to keep it down. And then here is just some more, oops, that's backwards, more things. Well, no, I think I left it that way because it's blue. Um, some more places to write. And jot down your thoughts or whatever's happening in your life. And right here, be kind with some um, Scrabble things. 
some of whoops, some little scrabble things. And then this, oh, I forgot, this opens up like that and does nothing except for look cute. And then you close it and it opens up this way and I got tags. There's actually tags right there. Oh, and I put a little specimen card. I like to make these. I got them in all sizes. Little specimen card. Fun to look at. And a bee journal card. And this is fabric right here. I put fabric, a fabric pocket. And there's that. Okay, and then what does that do? Let me say I forget. Oh yeah, this one opens up. So we have to this one opens up and I have the waterfall. That's right. I'm not gonna untie this, but if you untie it, it just all comes up like a waterfall and you can write on the back of every one of them. In fact, you could put a picture here and then write about it on the back because there's room to write on the back of every one of them. And it's an actual little waterfall. And you open that up and more places to journal, a bunch of bee cards and another little woodland scene. And all of these are functional. Every one of them you can write on. That's what it's all about. Oh, this is a little pocket I made out of I stamped that little house or lodge actually. It's the inn. It says inn. <laughs> But this is a snowdrift for cake biscuit pastry and frying. Must have been baking soda or something like that. I made a pocket out of it. So, put those back in there. And that's, and then down here we have a gold foam pocket, a gold glitter foam pocket, and more tags. And I put a little decoration there if I cut out more tags and then this goes down like that and then it closes like that then we turn the page last page right here and then you open it up and I took um something oh, that's a card that's a playing card I just cut half and I made a little round pocket with some tags and some that come down like that. And then you open this side and basically the same thing over here, only I put, I die cutted this out because I had to die cut some kids running around. And then I stamped this right here and there's just some more journaling cards a bunch of mushrooms you could journal on the back and more tags you can journal on the back of those this this journal will get you by a long time and let's do a lot of writing and then there's this one and then in the middle i made a book look at those mushrooms they're in love. In the middle, I made a book. And this just comes off. It's a velvet band made. It's a little velvet band. And this is a journaling book. You can do a lot in here. I, I numbered the pages with flowers. One, two, three, up to, let's see, 16. So and there's a honeycomb and bees. Yeah. So, this pocket can hold quite a bit too, so, and there I got two little mushrooms on each side, but yep, yeah, this is the end. And then you close it up, like that, and then nothing there but that.
and there we go. <laughs> That's it. That's a new journal I made. You can put a few pictures in it. And I suppose you could put in that one expanded pocket will hold a lot. You could put some receipts or special tickets or something in that pocket. But that's it. Three signatures. So, anyway, if you made it this long, thank you. <laughs> My house is fell down back here. Um, yeah, I love doing this stuff. I'm just a paper freak. Anything to do with paper, I just love to create with it. And the paper has come so far. I mean, oh, I just can't believe how wonderful it is out there. But anyway, I hope you're all happy, healthy, and safe. And we have, we're, we're still warm here in Washington, but we are having fires. I live on the border of Oregon, and I live in Washington. But we have fires on both sides, Oregon and Washington. So we are literally in a haze right now, and I hate it. But I And I hate it for the people, too, that are going through that. It's just terrible. So anyway, I hope you're having a nice day. And I don't know if YouTube's going to let me have a comment or not. They're the ones doing it, not me. So anyway, thank you. Bye-bye.